I don't know where you get these people from. Sometimes I think it's drugs. It's got to be drugs, because people on pure air don't worry about things like that. You know, the drugs, the drugs, I, I, really think, I think drugs make people, so, you know, they get like... I've seen them, you know, they take it, you know, and they, they, they have to hold it in, see? See, that's the problem with smoking. You have to look. Now, your body doesn't want it, so it starts to kick it out, whether you want to hold it or not, so you begin to... about drugs is that while you're doing that the person sitting next to you is going hey man pass that over <laughs> then the people get stoned now this is the fun part of getting st they get stoned then they become paranoid now when they started out they said let's get high and have fun so they're high now they're paranoid Am I falling out of this chair? <laughs> then I've known people who've gotten stoned and they start to laugh and nobody knows what they're laughing at. You know, they just... But the biggest one is the cocaine. No! There they go. There they go. Cocaine, Jack. You say cocaine, man. They give it, you know, people say, yeah. Sure, I'll do a few lines. And I said to a guy, I said, uh, tell me, you know, what is it about cocaine that makes it so wonderful? And the guy said, well, it intensifies your personality. <laughs> and I said, yes, but what if you're an asshole? <laughs> but I really want to study I really want to study this whole thing of drinking, getting drunk, and, and people saying that they're having a good time. You stand there, this drinking, drinking. Now, the body says, don't take another drink. <laughs> so you reach out, and you go, and the stomach, say, messengers come down, he's taking another drink. All right, reverse gears. But just take it up to the top of the neck. This stuff comes up to here. Sir. Now give him a small burp. Turn on the sweat machine. Now people say, are you all right? Of course I'm not asleep. <laughs> now you've got to go. So you come into the bathroom. <laughs> close the door. <laughs> now don't forget, you owe this to yourself. <laughs> you worked hard all week. It's come to this.
Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. If you get me out of this, I won't drink again as long as I live. Ah. Now, you are ready to put your face in a place that was never built for your face. So. And that's called having a good time. I never understand that. I mean, it's all right if you're a teenager, you know, and you've never, you've never had, and it, you've never had it before, you know, and you say, well, what is this all about? You know, you just keep drinking, get sick, and throw up. But grown people do that on weekends. And then they come back to work, and they go, oh, God, my head. It's strange. <laughs>